Hey, what's up everybody? Lyndon Pike here with an anagram to help you remember the five major mass extinction events in Earth's history. This is something that you could kind of just remember on your left hand and it'll help you to remember when the extinction events were, how long the duration of the extinctions actually were, the number of species that were killed off during the events, and the order in which they happened. So, what is a mass extinction? Well, basically what we're talking about with mass extinction is the extinction of a large number of species within a relatively short period of geological time. And when it comes to extinctions, there are five major ones in Earth's history, and these are the five that will help you remember kind of the evolutionary pattern of life on Earth and how it came and went. Now, this is called the Hand of Apathy. So named because apathy kind of represents indifference or not caring. And that is what the anagram for this hand means. O, D, P, T, C. O, don't pretend to care. And it helps you to remember the names of the extinction events themselves. The O is for the Ordovician extinction. That was around 438 million years ago. A way to remember well, Ordovician, the Ordovician ushered the fish in, and this is when fish first appeared in the geologic scale of the planet around 510 to 505 million years ago. The Ordovician extinction event wiped out 85% of species, 60% uh, of marine invertebrate, and the extinction event had a duration of around 10 million years. There's a water line right here. This extinction event was primarily... Um, basically almost 100% ocean species. More of the life on Earth had not yet evolved to go on land yet, so this water line will help you remember that this was a aquatic extinction event. Coming up to the next extinction event, the D for O. Don't, the D is a Devonian extinction. This is 360 million years ago, wiping out 80% of species, 57% uh, of marine invertebrate, with a duration of about 3 million years. You can kind of see the waterline affects a little bit of the Devonian era. This was still primarily an aquatic event as well. Um, you can tell also by using the fingers on your left hand of the size of the extinction events as well. You see the Ordovician, 85%. It's a little bit bigger on your thumb. The 80% on your pointer. And you can see your pointer and your ring fingers are kind of the same size. It coincides that these two extinction events are, are kind of the same duration um, and wiped out relatively the same uh, percentage of species on the planet. Your middle finger being the longest finger that you have also represents the largest extinction event in Earth's history. The P for O don't pretend to care. The P is for the Permian extinction. This wiped out 95% of the species on this planet, 82% marine invertebrate. It is unknown as to how long this extinction event took 245 million years ago. This extinction event um, triggered by probably an impact from an asteroid and huge volcanic activity on the planet. Some of the volcanoes spewing for millions of years. Coming next in Oh, Don't Pretend to Care, the T for two is Triassic. The Triassic extinction event 208 million years ago, uh, wiping out 75% of species, 53% of marine invertebrate, lasting about the same as the Devonian, the three to four million years long is the duration. This is also when dinosaurs first appeared, the Triassic period. And then, oh, don't pretend to care. The C, the care, the C is Cretaceous period. This is the event that wiped out the dinosaurs. When you look at this whole hand here, it kind of resembles a little bit of a stegosaurus. So as you get rid of all of the fingers in the extinction events, when you get rid of the final finger, the pinky finger, you're essentially getting rid of the dinosaur as well, so that's a good way to remember that this is the one that got rid of the dinosaurs. Using your smallest finger, your pinky finger, this is considered what is the smallest extinction event, the Cretaceous extinction, um, which is designated by the KPG boundary of iridium in the Earth's crust. Actually a very fantastic read if you get a chance to read about that. 65 million years ago, wiping out 70% of the species on the planet, 47% of marine invertebrate and about a one million year long duration for that event as well. So if you ever do get confused on how to remember those, just hold your left hand up and remember, oh, don't pretend to care, Ordovician, Devonian, Permian, 
Triassic, and Cretaceous. Also right here between the Triassic and Cretaceous, you can see this little arrow signifies when mammals and birds first appeared in the fossil record. So kind of show you a little bit of how it came from an aquatic life on this planet. Evolution brought life onto the land and kind of went through all of the different species until after the Cretaceous event, which was the age of mammals. And that's kind of where life is on its way now. So hopefully that helps you to remember a little bit of how the extinction events took place, the progression, the names, how long they were. Remember to use your fingers on your hand to kind of gauge the size of the events with your thumb being a pretty big digit on your hand. That'll kind of show that that extinction event was pretty large. The Permian, as far as your middle finger being your largest finger, for most people, that'll show that that extinction event was the largest extinction event that we had as well. And then the durations and the anagram of how to remember. Oh, don't pretend to care. The hand of apathy marks the five most widespread die-offs in the fossil history of life on Earth. So, commit it to memory, and hopefully it helps you out in the future. Thanks.